I forgot to talk about the period of the graph. There is a box I think that's fairly well, uh, fairly self-explanatory, but just in case you had trouble with that term. The period of the graph is the distance in the x direction that it takes to complete one cycle of the graph. So here's one complete cycle of the sine graph. After that cycle, it starts over again. If I were to, to go to start at this point and draw another cycle, it would just start over again. Or if I was going backwards um, into, you know, into this direction, it's another cycle. So the one complete cycle, so the period of the sine graph is 360 degrees. You can see for the cosine that it has the same period. One complete cycle is one of these cup shapes from 0 to 360. Um, so it is also has a period of 360 degrees. But when you look at tangent, the tangent graph has asymptotes at 90 and at 270 and at negative 90 and at negative 270. And you can see that one. this is the section of the graph that repeats. Okay, so here's one section of the graph. The distance it takes for that graph to repeat again is 180 degrees. So its period is only half as long as that of sine and cosine.